<laughs> great day TV, and it's always a great day when we get to cook. Andrew Kaplinger, Kaplinger's Fresh Catch, and locations, three of them again. Yes. And come in, you can order you it to go. You yep. can take it home and cook it. Yep. And if you're lucky, you get to come over to your house and you make something <laughs> for us. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way to do it. It is, it is. I, I don't cook, so I have some to do for me. <laughs> what are you going to do today? We're going to do a Caribbean-style crab and lobster roll. Ooh. And we're in the fall time, so I figure I'll bring back a little bit of the spring feel. So. Okay. Yep. I'm going to get out of the way. Gotcha. I'll let you know when it's ready. Oh, goody. Andrew <laughs> Kaplinger. There you go. Get grilling. Will do. I have a couple of big lobster tails here. These are a Canadian tail. They're about a 20 to 24 ounce tail and a couple of uh, our Alaskan king crab legs. I'm going to actually go ahead and start by prepping the lobster tails. We're going to take some nice sharp kitchen shears and cut right down the back of the lobster. Well, carefully. I'm going to take between both my hands and just sort of I'm pressing it together and that just sort of breaks the shell, which allows you to open it up real easily like that. Again, just pull the meat up to the top. What I'm gonna do is just do some cuts on it, which is gonna basically help it to get a nice even cook on it. Got this preheated to between 300 and 350. It's our big green egg. We're going to put the lobster and crab legs on the big green egg, uh, again courtesy from my friends over at Sullivan Hardware. This is a great, great way to cook seafood too. We've got everything cooked up. We're going to go ahead and open the grill up and we're going to take these fellas out here. Just pull that meat right out of here. Make sure to do it nice and gentle so you can get all the meat that's back at the very rear of the tail. I'm go ahead and take and dice these fellows up. These are Alaskan red king crab legs and what that means is you're going to have a lot higher meat content and it's going to be the sweetest crab that you're going to be able to come across for king crabs. Okay so we're just going to toss all that lobster and crab together and make sure if we've got any bigger pieces that we sort of break those up. I've diced up some uh, celery and uh, red pepper about a half a cup of each. We're going to just add that right in. This is a half of an orange. This is the juice of a half of an orange, that is. All right, and I've got some fresh tarragon. We're going to put a little bit of that in. That's a nice, fresh flavor. And also, I've got some chopped up chives here that we're going to sprinkle right in here. And to finish this off, we're going to add some mayonnaise. Pretty much got that done up real nice here. And we're going to go ahead Fill up our rolls here. A little more on this one. Don't want to be stingy. Hey, Patty. Oh, right there. <laughs> I'm fast when it comes yes. to this. Okay, you put avocado in there. I did. We oh. added some avocado. And this nice... is crab and lobster. Yes. And mayonnaise. Yep, all kinds of goodies. Oh. <laughs> How is that? Wait, let's look at the dogs do it like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is good stuff. Kaplinger, fresh catch. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is you. wonderful. Time to take a break on Great Day TV. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.